rainy day outside. It's nice and cold, so we're working on a little project that we kind of had on the back burner. Y'all may have seen the video where we built the little meat processing house. Up in the very top of it, we set a really heavy beam, so we have a hoist beam for our butchering process. And what I'm trying to do, I went to an auction one day and they had these old um, crane uh, systems that had the little trolley systems on them. So I'm disassembling these and I'm getting all the bearings freed up on them and I'm gonna use them for a trolley system on our beam out there. Gonna have to do a little fabrication. We're gonna do a little welding, change them up a little bit. Um, but they're gonna work really well. They're really heavy. And they, you can see they really spin good now that we've got them all unfrozen and they really wasn't froze up. They'd say they'd been kept inside. So I think we got good bearings in all this. So we're gonna tear it on down and uh, build back up what we need. It's just uh, taking scrap and building what you want. Uh, we didn't, you know, I think they're gonna tell them what these would have cost somebody new, but we bought two of these assemblies and gave like 50 bucks a piece for them. So we, those one trolleys that would have been $50 a piece if you went and bought them. Showed you the beginning the other day of how we were modifying the little trolley system for our slaughterhouse meat processing area. This is the old hoist system that we've always used. This is the old chain hoist, the manual that you just pull up and down. We had it hanging from the beam up there, which works really well. We're definitely not gonna get rid of this because it may need it again one of these days. Uh, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna climb up the ladder and give you a view. Still Tasha's camera for a minute. This is our hoist, and this is the little trolley system that we were building the other day. And you can see the little area right here where it's been welded. We had, this hoist was only down to this point at this connection. We had to extend it all the way down to get it below our wooden beam here. This beam is about 12 inches tall and six inches thick. And what we've done, we put a steel plate on the very top of this beam for our rollers to run on. And I'm climbing the ladder, so I'm a little bit shaky. But when you get up here, you can see the steel plate. And now you can see how the rollers run on that steel plate. So it makes for a little trolley system for us. All right, and then we picked up this little electric hoist at an auction one day. Uh, we've got quite a few of those at the old machine shop that we used to do, but they're very handy for lifting and working loads. With the electric hoist, it's all just hand controlled. Uh, we can lift anything. This is a one ton hoist, so it'll lift up to 2,000 pounds. We do have a big steer or something we want to butcher, won't be any problem. We're going to put a control joint or control point down here that we can actually tie hides off so when we winch them up we can strip the hides as we go. Uh, give you a little example, it's a little loud, but and then once we get it to where we want it, if we're working, we're gonna build some tables over here. The trolley system allows us to move closer to this work area, work something off, and then if we want to move back across, you can move real heavy loads with just the touch of a finger over and then we could work off this area or we can work for our wash area back, back here in the back of the wash bay. So it's just a convenience issue of being able to mobilize what you're working on wherever you need it to be more uh, efficient in, in what you're doing. Yeah, and I don't think they've seen the sink. Uh, we picked that up second hand. We've got to get the faucets for it it's, and put it all back together. Stand up spray faucet that go back on here with a, with a sprayer coming down from the top. This is going to be a real big convenience to having three compartments so it gives you a large area to separate out different things so you don't have cross contamination and uh, just a big area to work from. We're going to build some butcher block shelves is what my plan is over here later on and have hot and cold water out here uh, to work from in this area. That's why we still have got to get our electric run here uh, the water's already here. We don't have the electric. We're gonna have a little electric hot water heater out here. So when we get all that done and get the lights in, we should be ready for anything to help. So anyway, that's the trolley system that we put in. If we ever do need, if we have any issues with the power or electricity being off, that's why we kept the old chain hoist. We can always 
change it out with where the electrical one's located at, and we can utilize this for our hoist system, and we won't need any electricity or anything. So that's always our backup. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe and healthy, and God bless, and like and subscribe.